Hey everyone, welcome back to JavaScript tutorial series. In this lecture, we will talk about literals, variables and constant. We will first take a look what is variable, then we will take a look what is constant and then we will move to the literals. And we will also take a look how to create variables, constant and literals in JavaScript. So let me first tell you what is variable. If I wanted to simply describe a variable, then I would like to say variable is just a name of a specific value. This value can be changed anytime. Just think, if you want to store age, then you can use a variable to store the age value. But when you call your age, it is very difficult to call the exact age value. In that situation, variable help you out. You specify a name for your age and access this name anytime, anywhere. So now, let me first tell you how to create a variable. To create a variable, we will write age is equal to 24 and then we specify a semicolon. Now, this statement does two things. It declare or create a variable age and assign it an initial value 24. You can change this value anytime if you want. To display this variable, we use console.log method. And in the parenthesis, I will just specify the variable name. You don't need to specify double quote here because we don't want to display a string message, except we just wanted to display a variable on the console. So we'll just say age in the parenthesis and end the statement using semicolon. Now when you run this document, you will get 24 on the console. But this is not the way you declare a variable. If someone wanted to run this document in the strict mode, then he will get an error message when we access the age variable. We will talk about this use strict literal in the future lectures. How to use a variable in a ECMAScript 6? We can use let keyword before the variable name. Using let keyword, we will create a variable or you can say we would declare a variable with a value or without a value. If you remove this value from the variable, then you will not get an error message, except you will get a special undefined value. So, this statement is equivalent to let age is equal to undefined, right? Now, you can declare multiple variables at the same time with the let keyword, just like this. So, we'll declare let first name, comma, last name is equal to, in the double quote, we specify daily tuition. And you can create one more variable with a different value. So we'll just say comma and specify h is equal to 24 and end the line with the semicolon. In the last name variable, we declare a string value and after that, we create a variable with the number value. Now let me move to the next topic which is constant. In ECMAScript 6, a new keyword added in the JavaScript which is constant. Constant also hold value but unlike variables, it can't be changed after initialization. You can't change the constant value after you declare it. Let me show you how to create a constant variable. So, to create a constant variable, start with the constant keyword followed by the name of your constant. I will specify temperature here. So, I'll just say temp here. And specify number.
to create another constant just type comma and specify your second constant here you can also specify the string value to the constant i personally use the capital letter to specify the constant because it is very helpful to understand and find out where is constant and variables now the next topic is what is identifiers variable and constant are usually called identifier and they have a naming rules identifier consists of letters numbers underscores and the dollar sign unique code character are allowed identifier must start with the letter dollar sign or underscore identifier cannot be a reserved word reserved words are the words in the javascript that created for a specific task they can't be used as a identifier if you do that then you will get an error message now let me move to the next topic literals we already seen the literal in the previous example where we specify a variable name with the numerical literals so the literals means you are providing a value directly in the program literal is just a way to create identifier with the value so let's create a variable with the let keyword and name this variable goal now we'll specify the literal to this variable so just type equal sign and then in the double quote we specify tutorial make happy and just close this statement using a semicolon in the double quote we specify a literal you can specify this literal to the other variable also so just say let reference is equal to goal now the reference has the same value as a goal variable you can specify a literal with the numerical value with the float value we'll talk about this in the later tutorials it's upon you where to use a variable and where to use constant in your program so now we understand what is variable constant and literals when you move with the javascript series you will completely familiar with these topics we will take each topic one by one so you will understand everything in detail i have asked a question in the comment answering the question will help you to understand this topic better that is all for this lecture we will see you in the next one